Karl Rove's name has come up in accusations of big time election fraud. Um, would you be willing to kind of walk us through the accusations and the evidence um, in favor and against um, him having been an active participant in large scale election fraud? Well, I write about this at length in, in, in Boss Rove. Um, and in 2004, uh, the most important state in the election was Ohio. I mean, you have the old saying, as goes Ohio, so goes the nation. And it's been true in one election after another. But in 2004, as the votes were counted, it became uh, absolutely crystal clear uh, whoever won Ohio won the election, if, if I, and, and it was a very, very close race in Ohio. The exit polls showed John Kerry winning Ohio by 4.2 percent. Uh, in fact, Bush uh, won it by 2.5 percent in, in the final count, which has been contested, and, and that, that is part of the controversy. But in the days leading up to Ohio, <coughs> excuse me, several things happened. One was uh, there was an enormous amount of uh, on-the-ground activity in, in, in an attempt to suppress the vote. We, we talked, I talked a little about the voter suppression campaigns earlier. Well, there are many, many ways this can happen. Um, and in Ohio, we had a situation very similar to Florida in 2000. The state uh, Secretary of State in each state Part of his or her job is to oversee a fair and impartial election. But in 2000, you may remember, Kathleen Harris was the Secretary of State, and she happened to be uh, head of the, the part of the a key figure in the um, Bush Cheney campaign in 2000. Similarly, in Ohio, Ken Blackwell was Secretary of State, a Republican Secretary of State. And he was also co-chair of the Bush Cheney campaign in Ohio. So there were enormous number uh, of uh, attempts to, uh, to to sort of limit the voting in certain ways that that raised there, the number of voting machines in each district was not the same. And what that meant was that in heavily African American districts precincts which tend to vote heavily Democratic, there wouldn't be enough voting machines. 